Hello, my friends. It's time for the King James Version Bible Daily Devotional. Before we start, let's have a word of prayer. Jesus, I love you and I praise you. I, I, I magnify your glorious, wondrous name and I thank you the way you're blessing this channel, the way you're moving people's lives. People are coming here every day to have devotions and to speak to you and to learn from you and to, and to hear more of your word and, to, and to, to leave knowing more of your word than when they came and help the Holy Spirit to speak to each and every one of us and for us to take off more of man. Put our more of Jesus every day. In the precious name I ask it. Amen. <coughs> Today's scripture is going to be 2 Corinthians 6, 14 and 2 Corinthians 6, 16. As always, all I use is the King James Version Bible. I shall lay up some KJV upon thee. Verse 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? Verse 16, And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God, as God has said, I will dwell in them, and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. My friends, we're the walking, talking temple of God. The Holy Spirit, who is part of Jesus and part of God, the triune, the trinity, the three in one, the Godhead, He lives within us. So we actually have God and Jesus Christ living in us through the Holy Spirit. We're God's walking, talking, breathing, living temple. Ask yourself a question. Do you think that God would like to have cigarette smoke coming into his temple? How about drugs, marijuana, other drugs? How about booze? How about uh, our eyes looking at bad things like pornography and other types of filth and lusting after women and men and our, our mouths talking filthy dirty language, even using the Lord's name in vain, our mouths lying and saying deceitful things. Would God like his temple to be doing that? God always sees everything that we do. Jesus sees everything that we do. The Holy Spirit is within us. He sees everything we do. <coughs> Are we any of us without sin? No. We all sin and fall short of the glory of God. But Christians should be sitting less and should become more mature. Satan does know how to get to us. You know, he knows how to, how to push our buttons. He knows what way to, 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 to pull on us. But we need to trust in Jesus Christ and remember that He will always, He'll never allow us to be tempted beyond what we're able to handle. He will always give us a way to escape. When you feel like doing sinful things, pick up the Bible and read it. Pray. Those sinful desires will leave you. So remember, we're the walking, talking temple of God. I won't even put any tattoos on my skin because my, my, my skin is part of the temple of God and I personally am not even going to do that. I'm very, very cautious what I do, my friends, to God's temple. We all have to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. Each of us do. I'm telling you what I do myself as well. If anyone does not know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, if anyone used to know him as Lord and Savior but they're backslidden and they believe they're still saved, they believe the lie from the pits of hell of once saved, always saved that, that teaches that once you're saved, then it doesn't matter about your sin. You never repent anymore. It's all taken care of at the cross. Eh. I got a little 411 for you, a little bad news. I've got 250 scripture from the King James Version Bible with commentary. I've exhaustively prepared it. I've got it in a Word document. I've shared it with hundreds. I'll share it with you if you send me a message. It's not your words. It's not Paul Kidd's words. It's God's Word. And it says hundreds of times, you must repent of all sin after you're saved if you want to step foot into heaven via the rapture or any way at all. So, if you want that send, message to me and I'll send it to you, you can pray with me as well. If you're unsaved or backslidden, we'll have a little prayer time now. Jesus, I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day and went back to heaven. Please forgive me of my sins. Claim my heart white as snow. Come live in my heart. Make me a child of the King, a new creature in Christ. In your precious name I ask this. Amen. Now after you get saved, get your King James Virgin Bible and read it daily. It'll feed your spirit and soul the way you feed your body with food and water. Pray to Jesus every day. He's your new best friend and He wants to talk with you daily. Make sure you find a Christian church and get water baptized, dunked under water. If you were sprinkled baptized in the past, it does not count. Do it over again, my friends. Nope, I lost my page. Where we go? Alrighty. Pray to be filled with the Holy Spirit, sanctify. You do this by praying, reading the Bible, and living for Jesus. Make, take your King James Version Bible to church when the preacher speaks. Make sure what he says matches your Bible. If not, get up and walk out and find a new church. Lastly, very important, 
Make sure you repent of every sin that you do now after you're saved. Ask Jesus to forgive you with an honest heart, and He will. If anyone here would like me to pray for them, for anything, from a terminal illness to a sick pet, anything in between, contact me. I have the gift of faith, mustard seed faith. I didn't earn it or deserve it. Praise the Lord, but I prayed for it. He gave it to me. And I pray for you every day, expecting a miracle in your life. I know that God will perform that miracle if it's in His holy will. And if He does, it's all through Him. Nothing to do with me. I'm the least in God's kingdom, a tiny fish in the huge ocean, a slave for Jesus Christ. Thanks for watching this video. Having this devotional. If you're standing on the sidelines, you got your hands in a 55-gallon drum of hot butter popcorn, cases of Mountain Dew and Mellow Yellow stacked up on the sidelines, a big lazy boy, get off the sidelines. Get in the front lines of God's army. Be a soldier in God's army like me and the few of us that are out there. Help us reap the harvest that's so plentiful. It's rotting in the field because there's so few harvesters. Put on the floor of God morning, noon, and night to be able to fight against Satan and his fiery darts and his demons and the demonic Christians that he sends to attack us. Fellow Christians who are demonically led, backslidden, fake Christians. And again, put on more of Jesus, take off more of man every day. Love you guys. I pray for you every day. See you again next time, Lord willing, on the King James Version Bible Daily Devotional. Good night.